everyone. This is gonna be my February TBR. Um, as you can see here, are some of my prompts. I'm gonna spin it, see what we get. Middle grade. In Las Vegas, the most popular food is broccoli. Yeah, that's the only food. Broccoli. Like the smoothies, the broccoli. broccoli pancakes, and broccoli ice cream, and broccoli hot dogs. Broccoli. And of course, they have raw, unseasoned broccoli Daddy? with stems. Romeo? I don't know how to broccoli Are you sure? Number three. Are you sure you don't want to go? It'll be so much fun. Hello, my lovelies. Number four. So yeah, I have been going through my shelves and determining mm. what I can get rid of because I need to make room. Okay. I'm getting ready to I only have one more of this to read. That's why he's on here. That's a horrible way to spell Disney. It was like a third grader uh, wrote that. Okay, as usual, I'm gonna go pick my books. I'll be back to show you what I got. Hello friends, so this is the books I picked for my TBR. I had my husband help me because I couldn't really figure out what to do. So the first spin we got was green, and it was, or it wasn't green, whatever color, and it was uh, middle grade, so I picked up The Wolf is Curse by Jessica Valetes. Um, I don't so, know what this one is about. All I know is about this boy. Uh, the great white wolf from, uh, is very, very old, and she is um, very, very tired. Maybe. For hundreds of winters, she has searched for someone to take her place, but she is, is invisible to most people in all the years. Only, uh, only three have seen her. One dead young, one said no, one is still alive, a 12 year old boy named, and I don't know how to pronounce his name. So this boy is going to get the Wolf's Curse. Um, I did try to read this previously, but um, I'm going to try to pick, up, pick it up again. So I love this cover. And then we got Romeo. So. I'm gonna read uh, Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Next is I don't know anything about this whatsoever. One Summer, Two sure. Rivals, A Plot next Twist, They Didn't See Coming. That's all Krista I'm gonna read for that. Um, so I get a romance two, in February. Uh, next is Saint Anything by Sarah Destin. This is actually one that so I the read next, and uh, I enjoyed, but it was like prompt a prompt we got with sci-fi, so I'm going to be reading um, Jurassic World. Oh, oh sorry, Jurassic again, Park. So this one's also going into yeah, I'm, I'm filming. Next is What's Above up? by Leah Bobbitt, and this is a is it pulled apart? Yeah. What happened to it? Oh. Next is Something The First taste. Wife by Pop, what Erica do you mean? Spindler. Uh, this yeah, I'm leaving it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not editing that out. I'm leaving it in. Um, Dress Park by Michael Crane. Everybody knows what this is about. I'm not doing a synopsis. Next, is Lovers and Liars by Next on the wheel, we got Stephen King, and this is the only Stephen King left that I own that I need to read, which is later. Um... This is one All I, I know is this uh, it's about this like boy who sees ghosts and he helps a detective. Uh, then, I have a for um, then we got Disney. So, like the third um, that's been picked so, once upon a screen. 
by um, Vera Strange. Um, this is number six in the Disney Chills, and I want to read this before number seven comes out, which number seven is one of my most anticipated books this year, and it's Scar, and if y'all don't know, Lion King is my all-time hands down favorite Disney movie, so I'm super stoked and excited to see Scar. So, I want to read this. Sebastian, please stop. Sorry about that. I want to read this before the new one comes out. And then I got Goosebumps. So, my husband picked two because Goose got Goo 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 Bumps? Goo Bumps? Goosebumps go really fast. So he picked It Can Come Beneath the Sea. And I don't know anything about this. Y'all know that. I wrote one of my Goosebumps in Stein books not knowing anything about them. That's how I like it. And then he also picked up Slappy's World um, Escape from Shutter Mansion. So I got two. So I'm doing seven books in my physical TBR and then more likely I'll be sprinkling other ones throughout it like I normally do. Hey y'all. So I'm also putting three extra books on my TBR because it is Black History Month. So I want to read some books by some POC authors. So I'm going to be reading Old Koi to the People by EB's Boy. Um, I got this from Walmart and it's like uh, it's a Black Panther novel and I really want to read it and see what it's about. All I do think remember is she, Old Koi, is trying to tell her girlfriend to do something I honestly I don't know the whole um here's the back of the book beautiful um I don't know the whole story I just I want to read it and uh love it I love the Black Panther franchise and everything so yeah love that and I do realize that this is the shortest month of the year and um I'm going to prioritize these books more than the rest of my TBR, but if I don't get to any of the books on my TBR, I'll just roll over to either um, the next month or in a previous month in the year. But the next book I want to try to pick up is The Sound of Stars. Um, this is the cover. So uh, it says, can a girl who risks her life for books and an or illery who loves pop music, work together to save humanity. When a rebel librarian meets the Illyri commander. So, what I can get the gist of this is about um, these alien people come down and take over stuff. It says, two years ago, a misunderstanding between the leaders of Earth and the invading Illyri Eerily resulted in the death of one third of the world's population. Today, 17 year old Ellie Baker survives in an Ellery controlled center in New York City. All art, books, and creative expression are illegal, but Ellie breaks the rules by keeping a secret library. So, um, I'm probably pronouncing the um, alien race wrong. When I get to the book, I will, you don't know. I'm pronouncing it right. And the next book I want to pick up for this month, and this will be the last book probably I'm putting on my physical TBR. Um, but like I said, I'll more than likely read some other books throughout the rest of the book, rest of the month. But I want to also read A Taste of Magic by J. Ellie. Are you talking to me? Yes. yes, I'm recording. I'm updating my TBR. I forgot to put some books on it. It says, um, Kayo Turner has just found out a family secret. She's a witch. This means mandatory lessons every Saturday at Park Will Magic Academy, the magic school hidden in the back of her local beauty shop. Learning spells and discovering charms and potions, recipes, and getting a wand made to match her hair's curl pattern. Kayan fills 
like she's a part of something really special. The hardest part will be keeping her magic a secret from non-magic folks, including her BFA name. So, yeah. Okay, bye. And I'm super stoked and excited. I'm not interested. And let's see if I can play this. Remember to be kind to each other, be safe out there, and always go on your next book adventure. I'll see you in the next one. And I have a star daughter by Chef. If I could begin to be half of what you think of me, I could do a better.